For that's a pump. Good on, dipshit. Welcome to Haley Motorsport. Today we haven't got much to do because our season's over unfortunately. With some COVID lockdowns that happened at the end of the season, our, our season got called early. Uh, we missed out on the last couple of races we had. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Doesn't really matter because we went pretty shit anyway. Our season was a little bit rough. We started off pretty strong. We had a pretty good go at the uh, New South Wales title early in the season at 7th. But pretty well the rest of our season was a bit of a up and down. Um, we did have some better results towards the end of the year, but uh, obviously got called early and uh, we're out of racing. So, with that being said, we've got a massive off season ahead of us. So, our off seasons, well, we've got heaps to do and no pass to do them yet because we're a little bit disorganised and I've got to get into it because we've had the last few weeks off doing sweet FA. But the race car, um, the race car's in pretty good nick, really. The uh, We've got to fix up the brakes. The brake pads fell out of it last race meeting. Long story. Watch the video. Um, brake pads fell out. So we've got to fix up that little issue. Got a couple of new pads to organise. Got to machine up a little spacer. Uh, just to prevent that from happening again. Probably just looking at my headers there. They need pulling off and painting again. We normally do that every season. Uh, stickers. Uh, we need to re probably rewrap the car. It's getting a little bit shabby in the sticker department. Maybe some fresh paint or panels or not sure what we're going to do there. We'll work that out. Um, some of the couple of the panels are getting a little bit shabby too, so it might even be time to upgrade them. Um, as far as that, we've just got some general maintenance. Uh, we've got some torsion bar bushes that are worn out, probably replace a few joints. Uh, some fresh tyres and the sucker will be ready to go. Oil filter, plugs, all that sort of gear. Might have to check out the diff, a couple of bearings in that. Um, we haven't done much with that for the last couple of seasons, so probably, uh, probably due for a check out. But everything else is pretty good in the race car. It's been uh, pretty good and reliable, so no real biggies there, just some general maintenance. Next up, we've got our race trailer over here. As you can see, we've got crap here everywhere. We've cleaned out our transporter. Um, the old transporter shit the tin halfway through the season. Glenn Harris lent us that trailer, which was great to get us our season done. I've got to get that uh, cleaned up and a couple of little odd jobs on that just fixed up for him before I return that so he can do what he's got to do with it. Um, but we've got the new truck and the new trailer. Um, the new truck's actually here to work getting roadworthy at the minute. A um, couple of things, I'm waiting for a couple of parts which will hopefully turn up Monday so I can get the thing organised for Tuesday so we can get the thing yep, registered. they sure will turn up. Yes, my wife probably hasn't organised them still but... I've organised the kingpins. Yeah, you've organised half of them. Um, it just needed some kingpins and uh, I think a seatbelt buckle was missing um, that I probably should have picked up on but I, I don't know, missed that completely. Don't know why, I wasn't even looking at it. Got to get that sorted out. Uh, so we can get that registered. Uh, we can get the then once we get that registered, we can hook it up to the trailer, get the trailer registered, which is no drama, we're just gonna take it to Vic Rose for inspection, get that registered. Once we get that registered, I can come back here, fix up the trailer, start organising that, and I've got to build a new tray for the truck. Um, just to make all that whole setup a little bit nicer. I've also got you know some dual batteries and fridges and charging sockets for cameras and phones and all the stuff that we've got to do there. Um, but we've also got to do a lot of that stuff rewiring in the truck. Uh, uh, got to modify the inner guards a little bit. We've got to maybe even wrap that in some stickers. Toolboxes. We've got to fit toolboxes, racks for shocks, um, diff racks, spare front ends, um, all this crap and the crap that's in there. Tire racks. We've got to get all that stuff sorted out. There is some racks in there. I might have ripped them out today. Um, that were old. I don't know. Stock racks. It used to be a. I think a. I've worked out, it, it was a, a push bike thing? Yeah, motorbike trail, uh, not motorbike, push bike, mountain bike, uh, specialised, so specialised push bikes, it was originally their trailer, a display trailer I think, had push bikes and things in it, you used to travel around all the events. Um, but yeah, we're clean that out, some flooring, some bits and pieces, a lot of work got to go into that one, we'll get sorted out with that hopefully uh, sooner rather than later because every year I do this and the season comes around uh, pretty damn quick without sneaks up on you and all of a sudden you're rushing trying to get everything done. The only other thing we've got to go is that big, heavy, overweight heap of shit that's in there. Um, this thing is honestly, I've been working on this the last couple of weekends, it's honestly actually not as far off as it looks. So, 
I've got all the rust fixed up. I've just got to mount up the front guards. They're, they're just sort of sitting on there at the minute, uh, not doing anything. Um, but I've got all the holes and all the rust fixed. Um, I think it is missing something. Yes, I've got an engine. I've got the engine back at work. We've got all the parts to finish that. I've just been that's flat out snow under at work that, that just hasn't happened yet. But we'll get that back together uh, in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Hopefully, I can find some time at some stage. And, um, Do you think you should paint it? Pardon? You think you should paint it? Yeah, yeah. So the bodywork's basically finished. It's nearly, once I mount up the guards, it'll be ready for paint. Um, we've got the diff over the back there. We're uh, ripping that out. We've got some secret squirrel business going on there with some brakes and things that we've got to sort out. We've got to do the same for the front end. The front end's uh, a little bit okay, but we've got to, we've got to sort that out. Uh, maybe lower it a bit and muck around with some brakes and sort out some stuff there. Um, all my headers and that are done. Uh, yeah, so just a, after that, it's just a matter of plumbing it up, wiring it, um, and fitting the seat back in it, belts, bits and pieces, and this sucker will be ready to run. Got the seat out there. Um, like I said everything's pretty well here to do this. We're gonna do. I've got to sort out some wheels and tires too. That's the only thing. I've got some wheels over down the back. I bought some fresh wheels for it. There's some more secret squirrel business going on there, but we'll. Um, Excuse me. There's some more secret squirrel business going on there. Got to organise some tires for that. You know you bought it. Yeah, there's been rims stuck in the shed for like six months ago. I bought them, bought a whole trailer load of them. Um, anyway, got some rims and I've got to sort out some tyres uh, for hopefully the start of next season. First race for these is a race with us. I've probably. Good on dipshit. That's arguably the worst cat ever known to man. Anyway. So, anyway. <laughs> Who was I with that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, next race season. So. Um, the first race for these is uh, so far in the calendar, I don't know, it's November, October, November it must be. Um, it's also our first race for the Winglet, so I possibly won't race it that night, uh, but I will probably the second night they're racing. But we'll, hopefully, let's see if I can get the thing going. We've still got a little bit of work to go. You um, your finger out, mate. Yeah, no, I've got an absolute gazillion jobs to do in the next couple of months, so um, that's it. Till next week. Um, hopefully we'll be, uh, have some parts organised for one of these projects that are a million projects that I've got on the go and uh, we'll get into a few of them.